Hello, today we're going to talk about discount, markup, tax, and tip. All right, so here are some vocab words that we need to know to be successful when doing discount, markup, tax, and tip. All right, so discount is the money saved from a sale. That's money that is being subtracted from the original price. Markup is the increase in price of an item. So if you think of like a company, um, let's say like if uh, you're going to buy a shirt at Target and they sell that shirt for $20 at Target, it doesn't cost that company that make that, uh, to make that shirt $20 because they wouldn't make any money, right? It might cost them $5 and they sell it for $20. The, distant, the difference between those two prices will, is called the markup. And that is added to the original price. Tax is sales tax, and that's added to the original price. So think about when you go to like 7-Eleven and you get a Slurpee that's like a dollar and it says it's a dollar for a Slurpee. You don't actually pay that dollar, right? You usually pay like a dollar and five cents, right? So that is a sales tax that's added to the original price. And then the last one is tip. Think about when we used to go to restaurants before COVID-19, we would go to restaurants and we'd get a bill and we would add extra money to the bill to give to the waiter or waitress. So you need to know these vocab words in order to be successful. All right, how to find discount or sales price. So first we have to take the percent of the original price and that's the amount of discount, the amount you saved. Then we take the original price and we subtract the discount price and that equals the sale price. All right, so here's an example of a discount question. This year on Black Friday, Target had TVs for 30% off. You found a TV that is usually $999. What is the amount you would save and how much would you have to pay for the TV? So let's go back and look for some important information that we might need. So it says the TVs are 30% off. So we're gonna need that 30% off. That is how much they're on sale for. And we also need to know how much the TV is originally. Originally, the TV is $999, $999. So what we're doing here is we're gonna take this percent and we're gonna find the percent of $999. The good thing is, is you guys can use this Desmos calculator and it can do percents really well. So if I type in 30 and hit this percent button, it says 30% of, and I wanna find 30% of $999. Well, that's 299.7. So that would equal $299. And then 0.7, money always has two decimal places. So really this is 70 cents. They just don't add that zero in the calculator. So this is the amount you're going to save on the TV. But we need to find out how much we're gonna pay for the TV. So we need to find out how much we're gonna pay and discount is how much we're saving. So I'm gonna take the original amount, that $999, and I'm going to subtract $299.70. So I can put that into my Desmos calculator again. I can do 999 minus 299.70. And I get $699.30. So the price of that TV after the discount is $699.30. So that is how we find discount or sales price of an item. All right, the next thing we need to figure out is how to find tax, tip, or markup. So tax, tip, and markup are all done the same way. You find the percent of the original price, and that gives you the amount of tax, tip, or markup. And then we take the original price, and then we add that amount of tax, tip, or markup. And that will give us our total price. Tax, tip, and markup are done, the first step is done exactly the same as discount, but the difference is we add it to the original price instead of subtracting. All right, so let's say you're trying to buy a pair of Jordans, right? Did you know that it costs Nike only $16 to make a pair of Jordans? And they sell them at a 640% markup. 
what would be the final price they would say they sell a pair of Jordans for? So what do I need to know? I need to know my percent. So they sell it as 640% discount or markup. That's a huge markup. All right. So we need to find that percent of $16. So I can use my Desmos calculator and I can type in 640% of, that will give you the of, 16. And that gives me 102.4. So that equals $102.40. So that is the amount of markup they're adding to the shoe. But the question's asking for the final price. Well, the final price, we know we have to take that original price, the price they make the shoe for, the $16, and then we have to add the $102.40. So if I do 16 plus 102.40, and I can put that in my calculator, that would give me $118.40. So a shoe that cost them $16 to make, they are selling for $118.40. All right, that is how you do markup. All right, let's do one more example. This says the PlayStation 5 sells for $499. In Virginia, we have a 5% sales tax. How much will it cost you to buy a PS5? So what we need is our percent, right? We have a 5% sales tax in Virginia, so 5%. And we need to find 5% of the original price, and the original price was $499. So we can put that in our Desmos calculator. We can clear 5% of 499 gives me 2495, $24.95. $24.95. All right, so that's not how much we're gonna pay for the PlayStation, right? We still have to pay for, pay for the PlayStation. That is $499. And then we also have to pay the sales tax. So we have to add that $24.95 to the cost of the PlayStation. So we can do $499 plus $24.95. And if I put that in my calculator, 499 plus 24.95, that gives me $523.50. And 95 cents. So if you went to the store and bought a PlayStation 5 in Virginia, that is how much it would cost you. Okay, so the other thing that we learned about was tip. Tip is done the exact same way as markup and sales tax. You find the percent of the original number and then you add it to the original price. All right, so that's how we do discount, markup, tax, and tip. If you ever have any questions, please ask a teacher. Have a great day.